Hello guys, welcome and welcome to Media Nursing Academy, one of the leading academy in training nurses in the nursing competitive exam as well as NCLEX, IELTS and OIT training. Today we are going to discuss in detail about the vacancy notification which is announced by Banaras Hindu University which is located in Varanasi. In this video we are going to cover each and every important topics like when is the last date of submission of application, uh, whether online application is more than enough for submission or offline application also has to be submitted as a hard copy. So what is the eligibility criteria, what is the level of salary package, what they are going to get. Each and everything we are going to discuss in detail. So watch the video till the end, definitely it will be so much useful for you. So let's begin the session. The first thing is, here they have clearly mentioned all the important dates. It is very important, okay. So before that, this is the advertisement number okay and it is clearly mentioned that it is non-teaching post under group A and group B okay and also here they have mentioned the telephone number and email ID of the recruitment cell website of BHU that is Banaras BHU uh, Banaras University Hindu University website they have mentioned very clearly and online application only okay you are how to fill the online application okay but there is some twist in that i will be explaining that later okay fine so important dates they have mentioned here that is last date for online submission of application form and application fee is 3 5 2023 that is third may 2023 up to 5 pm they have given the margin line okay and last date of submission of downloaded application form that is hard copy has to be submitted in the address, I will be telling the address later, okay, in the address given in the notification. So, online application, the last date is 3-5-2023 and offline hard copy submission of application, the last date is 6-5-2023 up to 5 p.m. So, these are all the two important dates they have mentioned here. And application fees, it is a non-refundable application fees of rupees 1000 shall be paid online. How you have to play online how much you supposed to pay thousand who supposed to pay who are all coming under you are economically weaker section obc categories for group a post for group a post thousand rupees you supposed to submit or pay and for group b post 500 rupees you supposed to pay who are all supposed to pay you are economically weaker section obc category for group b non-teaching post they have to pay 500 rupees on the whole in simple 1000 rupees for group A 500 rupees for group B only you are economically weaker section OBC category candidates supposed to pay the fees and no application fees shall be charged from SC, SC and disabled candidates also women candidates SC, ST disabled women candidates no need to pay any kind of fees okay and how we can pay the fees online mode only you can pay the fees you either you can use the uh, internet banking debit card credit card or upi the options are given there so any way you can pay the fees okay this this is all about the important points and next so here they have mentioned these things are not uh, very important and the second point is very important candidate who have applied against the advertisement of 03 slash 2016 17 and advertisement 06 slash 2018-19 are required to apply again okay if the post is re-advertised please see the details in the note so what they are saying is the advertisement already the candidates who applied for the advertisement number 3 slash 2016-17 6 slash 2018-19 also supposed to reapply again if your post is mentioned here okay so make sure if you already applied for the post again you supposed to reapply for the post please make sure that okay fine and when, where the application has to be uh, filled in the website of the BHU the website is given here okay once you fill the application you supposed to download the application and you submit the application in the BHU Banaras Hindu University okay fine and here they have mentioned the group A and group B salary package levels, okay. For example, group A means level 12, level 7, level 10 and what will be the basic salary package and group B means level 7, level 6 and what will be the salary package. All these details are given here. And the next one is 
coming to the important point that is eligibility see here they have announced various number of posts you can see here these are all the sectors where they have announced the post this is the postal code postal code is very important okay and name of the post and number of post based upon the reservation and unreserved categories okay so this is how they have categorized the post let's see about the nursing post see for nursing or for medical they have mentioned four post that is chief nursing officer deputy nursing superintendent nursing superintendent medical officer medical officer it is for mbbs category so just remove the medical officer rest how many post is there three post is there that is chief nursing officer one post deputy nursing superintendent one post nursing superintendent two post deputy superintendent deputy nursing superintendent in you are one post and i think physically yeah obc obc one post okay one second i will repeat for chief nursing officer only in ur category one post is there for deputy nursing superintendent ur category one post as well as obc category one post nursing superintendent ur category two post okay so totally five post they have announced here okay fine the next one is let's see only the important point okay which is related to nursing the third point is related to nursing those candidate who had applied against the earlier advertisement number 6 2018 19 yes so the earlierly already you have applied with the advertisement number 6 2018 and 19 for the post of deputy nursing superintendent and also for the post of nursing superintendent are merged in this vacancy which is announced recently recently they have announced this vacancy right in this vacancy those post also merged okay so you supposed to reapply again if you already applied also you supposed to reapply again that is what they are mentioning in the third point it is the simple concept if you already applied also again you supposed to apply okay fine and uh, eligibility criteria let's see for the nursing yes for chief nursing officer first we are, will be discussing about the chief nursing officer the level of salary package is going to be level 12 that is is salary package and also the qualification what they are expecting is msc nursing with minimum experience of 18 years 18 years after completing msc nursing they are expecting for this post and in this 18 years 5 years in teaching and administration in a recognized nursing college and 5 years in clinical management in the minimum 500 bedded hospital overall 18 years in this 18 years 5 years teaching experience 5 years clinical experience they are expecting for this post okay so this is about the chief nursing officer and next one is nursing supernat for nursing supernat here the level of salary package is going to be level 11 and here the essential qualification what they are expecting is msc nursing from the recognized nursing college with minimum of 15 years how many years 15 years experience overall experience they are expecting in this 15 years 3 years of experience should be in either clinical or teaching if it is a clinical hospital setup mean minimum 500 bedded hospital okay 15 years overall experience they are expecting in this overall 15 years 3 years of experience in either clinical or teaching okay if you are showing in clinical means then you should be working in 500 bedded hospital okay and the other thing is you are not completed msc only you have completed bsc then 18 years of experience they are expecting either in clinical or teaching you should possess 3 years of experience minimum 3 years of experience overall 18 years of experience is required in 18 years 3 years of experience is minimum either in clinical or teaching if you showing in clinical means you supposed to show in 500 bedded hospital okay so this is the eligibility criteria for the nursing supernat 
and the next one is deputy nursing supernant. Here also they have given two options that is for MSc nursing as well as for BSc nursing before that the pay level is going to be level 10. Level 10. For MSc nursing with minimum experience of 10 years in the recognized hospital, recognized hospital okay, of minimum 500 bedded of which minimum 3 years should be in the clinical management or teaching experience from the recognized. Here also you know the overall experience what they are expecting after completing MSc nursing is 10 years. Overall experience what they are expecting 10 years. Okay, Where in the recognized hospital you should be having 10 years of experience. Okay, Of which minimum 3 years of experience either in the clinical management and teaching in the recognized hospital or college. So overall 10 years of clinical experience is required in the 10 years of clinical experience clinical management that is in administrative post you should be possessing 3 years of experience or in teaching experience is required from the respective college or recognized hospital. Okay, And BSc nursing with minimum 12 years of experience they are asking in the recognized hospital see they are focusing on hospital only 12 years of experience in the recognized hospital. In this Minimum 2 years of experience should be in the clinical management, in the administrative sector, 2 years of experience they are asking or in teaching experience from the recognized hospital or college. Okay, fine. So, this is all about the eligibility criteria of deputy nursing supernant, nursing supernant and chief nursing officer. Okay. So, please uh, if you are satisfying this eligibility criteria apply for the post do not lose the opportunity it is a good salary package and the environment is also very nice so you can apply for that. See general instructions of the candidates let us see the important point which is related to nursing see online mode of application has to be submitted okay and after completing your online mode of application you have to download the hard copy of the application whatever you have filled in the online mode and it has to be submitted to the recruitment cell of the Banaras Hindu University. Okay, So that is what they have mentioned here and the second point is so first you have to visit the Banaras Hindu University website in this Banaras Hindu University website first you are supposed to create the login id and password by up, uh, giving your email id and phone number this is the routine what we are following right. So that we supposed to do after that only we will be getting the user id and password or login id and password then we can fill the form. The next one is separate application if you are applying for more than one post for each post you supposed to fill the online application and you have to download the hard copies for each post okay and for fourth point uh, as usual your photo and the signature scanned copy has to be downloaded and it should be in JPEG format only and should not exceed 50 KB. And next one, incomplete application will be rejected. Okay, fine. And uh, while filling the online application form, form, suppose your browser is closed or if you are facing any difficulties, again log out and log in. That is what they are mentioning here. Please log out from the uh, application form and again log in. Okay, then you can able to fill the application form and if you are facing any technical issues they have given your email id you can just mail to them they will solve your problems. Okay, And the next point is there are many tabs or columns that will be given in the online application form please fill all the online application form any uh, incomplete form it will be totally rejected. Okay, so, make sure you are filling totally each and every column or tabs in the online application form. And the next one is after submission the candidates are directed to the payment gateway there you supposed to pay the payment 1000 rupees for uh, group A category and 500 rupees for group B category. Okay, so, this payment has to be filled or provided to them by means of using your online transaction UPI debit card credit card whatever mode you are having you can use it and you can pay the application fees. And next one is other important point is for group A and group B and C for group A most probably written test and interview will be there 
and interview will be there only two things for group a written test and interview will be there and for group b written test skill test and interview might be there okay written test skill test it is also called as physical test and written test will be there shortlisted candidates for each post will be called for document verification okay this is the routine and if you they are calling for the interview it doesn't mean that you are shortlisted you are selected that point also mentioned here very clearly okay and if they you are submitting any fake documents and there is no genuinity in the documents those candidate will be rejected that is what they have mentioned and next important point is point number 16 that is the vacancy may increase or decrease it depends upon the university norm okay and they will be recruiting the candidates according to that that was they are mentioned here okay and the rest of the points will be like this that is uh, if you are doing any uh, false commitment or showing the certificates without any genuinity and uh, if you are uh, undergoing any canvassing all those candidates will be disqualified that is what they have mentioned in other points okay and related to age relaxation it is same like the government rules for example for unreserved category there is no age relaxation for obc candidates 3 years of age relaxation for sc st candidates 5 years of age relaxation will be there and if you are serving the government that is pure central government for continuously 3 years then you will be getting again the age relaxation for example for obc candidates 8 years of age relaxation will be there for sc st candidates 10 years of age relaxation will be there right so those things will be applicable here also and those who are serving in banaras hindu uh, university already working in the contract basis and continuously serving for 6 months or else working as a permanent staff and they want to switch the higher position they will be getting the age relaxation okay so and also the ex military service person they will be also getting the age relaxation up to 5 years as per the government rules okay so the next important point here is point number 25 that is to fill the online application form you supposed to visit this website okay and the point number 26 once you completed the online application filling you supposed to download the application and you supposed to send or submit the application in this address whatever they have mentioned here okay for example office of registrar recruitment assessment cell Holkar House, BHU, Varanasi, and the pin code is mentioned here. On or before six five two thousand twenty three, you supposed to submit the downloaded hard copy. Okay, so this is all about this. This is for deputation. Additional instruction for the candidate applying for deputation basis. Okay, so here what they are mentioning is those who are working in central government, state government, autonomous PHU organization, they can apply this post. first they supposed to fill the online application and through the proper channel from the respective area where they are working they will be uh, sending the application form along with the clearance from uh, clearance from vigilance uh, clearance certificate integrity certificate certificate from controlling officer okay so those details has to be filled and it has to be sent through the proper channel okay for example if you are working in De uh, new delhi aims means from the recruitment cell of new delhi aims they will be attaching all these documents whatever i have mentioned here and they will be sending through the proper channel but make sure you have to fill the online application prior to this okay in that there will be a option that is deputation you have to click over it okay so that is all about the deputation fine guys so those who are fulfilling the qualification please make sure you are applying for the post all the best and if you like this video please like it share it subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon if you have any doubts anywhere please comment in the comment section thank you guys